I'm Matty Dolan, Yeovil Town Football Club. I'm Annie Heatherson, Yeovil Town Ladies Football Club. And together, together we are two, two teams, teams, one, one club. club. Right, Annie, you're having a great season in the WSL. Obviously, you've got Everton here at the weekend. How confident will the girls be going into that? Uh, I think we'll be very confident. We've, we've come off of a 1-0 win against Durham. Uh, we've had two other competitive games against WSL 1 and we handled ourselves really, good, like, really well with them guys. So um, the prep, we, we're going to training tonight with uh, the gaffer. We'll go through some stuff that we need to go through. But um, going into Sunday, we're pretty confident and playing here is a massive boost for us as well. So a huge pass is a massive lift for us girls. So it'll be a good game. Boys are uh, up against AFC Wimbledon this Saturday. You know they've they've won two, drawn two, lost two. How are you guys going into it? Yeah, well, I mean we we can't wait. Again, I mean obviously we've had a bit of bad luck with the injuries and everything. It's been a bit of a tough start of the season, but I think we've we've shown uh, on a lot of occasions that we've, we've got a goal in us and just need to shut up shop at the back. And we're really confident going in. We know what they're about, but it's just about taking the game to them now. So we're all excited for it. Can't wait. I've been down, uh, down to Sherbourne to watch a few times, I've been really impressed with the, the quality of the football and stuff. I mean, you've got a good balance between age and youth in the side, so just uh, what, what's that like to have the youth and the experience? To be honest, um, it's really good to have a squad team. Um, there's nothing worse than having just the 11 players go out there and try and do a job just to get the 11 players. So the fact that we've got a really good, strong squad, you know, we had the youngsters playing out there against Oxford, they beat them 1-0. You know, and it just shows what's what's to come. And obviously, I'll be retiring soon, so to see what's coming up, sometimes it's good that in a couple of years' time I'll be saying goodbye because uh, a few of them like to knock me around in training, <laughs> which is good. But yeah, having a solid squad, I think, has helped us be as successful as we are at the moment uh, going forward. So you haven't had much luck this season. I was here at um, Hewish when you played against Luton. The second half performance was absolutely, you know, second to none. You, you all fought for your, 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 the scoreline of 3-2. Is there more to see of that? Yeah, I think the boys, obviously, obviously on that day, we went, we went two goals behind and obviously everyone's feeling the worst in the crowd. And the boys always knew. The boys have got confidence in their own ability. I mean, we've got quality. The boys that are on loan, Swansea, Bournemouth, top clubs, and everybody knows that we can play football as well as we did that second half, I think it's just obviously playing that football, getting the confidence back in the team and just bringing it bringing it to the park obviously every Saturday, so the boys can't wait again for the game on Saturday just to, just to prove to everyone here that we are a quality side and we are going to go places, it's just riding the storm a bit at the minute. And obviously the, the women's game has had a lot of publicity in the last sort of year, obviously with the girls winning, well, doing so well in the World Cup. Obviously yourself, you've got a certain pedigree about you playing in the uh, Champions League, just want to Talk to us about that a bit, something that I'd uh, only wish to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, to be fair, the, the women's game has come a long way. If I think back 10 years ago to where it is now, yeah. it's heads and shoulders above. Even the quality and the standard is, is 10 times better. Uh, but that's thanks obviously to the FA and all the supporters that come along and, and what. But just playing football is just it's a passion to see it growing. I mean, it's only going to get bigger. It's just a shame that it's coming at the end of my career rather than the beginning. But to have that, you know, it's growing and it can only get bigger. Obviously, off the back of the World Cup, I mean, them girls done a phenomenal job out in Canada um, and they've absolutely set a, a milestone for us now. So we just literally catch the momentum and keep going. It's just a shame now that we're coming to the end of our season. It'd be nice if that happened at the end of the season just to get it done. understand. That's brilliant. Right, well, I'll uh, see you Sunday. Thank you very much for that. Right, well, I'll see you Saturday. Spot on. <laughs>